Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Mega Man X playthrough. Last time we started our adventure and we took on uh, Chill Penguin and Storm Eagle. Today we're going to be taking on two more Mavericks, starting with Spark Mandwill. And I have to like always like, <laughs> I always have to wait before I actually say the name of this Maverick because... There's someone I know online who used to go by the name Sparkman Will, so I have to like make sure I'm not saying that name instead of this guy's actual name. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and go for this guy next. Uh, this is the guy that's weak to uh, Chill Penguin's weapons, so logically, he would be the next one to take down. So let's do it. So, another thing that I should probably mention about this game, as well, is, um, and it's a really cool feature that I, like, I wish I would knew, know all the instances of where this actually kind of comes into play, but, um, actually some of the levels in this game will actually get changed, um, based on what other levels you complete first before this one. And I think it's really cool that it, like, does that, because it's like... You know, it shows that, like, you know, all these bad guys, they actually have, like, you know, relevance with each other. You know, they're actually doing evil things. So, like, destroying the actions of one could, you know, change the stage, of, you know, by with someone else. And potentially make the stages a little easier, too, which is kind of a neat feature. So, yeah, I always thought that was a really cool aspect of uh, this game. Okay, so right here, this section's a little annoying, not gonna lie. Um, I might be thinking of the other section, actually. Like the section after this, anyway. Well, <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Okay. Sometimes that, you know, that Mega Man thing where enemies don't necessarily die after they go off screen, that can be, that can be a thing to deal with. Uh, so down here we actually have a mini boss, and we can actually see the power of, uh, um, Storm Eagle's weapon in this. But yeah, like, it's a very huge projectile. And as you can see, it kind of, like, gives, like, multiple hits. Like, it, like, after it does damage, it, like, continues to do damage, which just makes it a really, really good weapon. So, yeah, that's why, that's one of the reasons why I, I recommend picking that up, just because it can just really make sections like that so much easier. Um, I believe this is also a case where we will have to come back to this level a little later to get something else. Because, um, you need, uh, I believe you need Boomer Kalanger's weapon, if I'm not mistaken, to get something else in this stage. Obviously, we've not beaten him yet. There is something else that we can get in this level that we will be getting, of course. But yeah, I think because of like the stuff I was talking about earlier, the whole stage causation thing and the ordering of where you do this, I think it gives this game, like, quite a bit of replay value as well when you think about it. Because it's just like, you know, you can have your, like, you know, the order that you want to go with. Then you can try a different order sometimes just to see if there's some new stage effects that you want to experience. Uh, but yeah, here's the heart tank for this level. Uh, kind of an awkward jump you have to make. You have to kind of dash off the wall and then try to also, like, touch that wall. The wall jump off of it. It can be kind of uh, awkward, but it's not too bad. I hope we can maybe get some health before we reach the boss. Uh, okay, good. He didn't respawn. Sometimes they're good about not respawning, but other times... 
other times it's like, hey, don't be so cringe now. Oh, I hate this part right here. It just seems like this part right here, they just always seem to be at, like, the worst points. That's why sometimes, like, it's, you know, if you have enough lives, you may just want to, like, rush through, like, certain sections and not worry about taking damage just so you can, you know, get to the boss. Um, can I maybe... Nope. <laughs> really shot, though. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna just damage boost through it. Okay, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna use the weakness yet, because I want to save the blast for that. Okay, here's uh, Spark Mandrill. Again, I hesitate, so I don't say Spark Mand Will. Damn it, Will. It's all your fault. I want to say this guy can, like, make shockwaves if, like, he hits you on the floor. Ah, damn. I actually got quite a bit of his health gone, all things considering. But, um, shotgun ice makes this guy a bit of a joke. That's kind of, like, the one thing I will say. And, like, I mean, it kind of does it for some of the other Mega Man games, too. But, like, the weaknesses in this game, they really, really hurt the ones who are weak to them. I believe here it's, like... Yeah, see? <laughs> Sometimes the weaknesses can just be really, really broken. Not in all cases, but I'd say in most cases it, it can do that pretty effectively. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, we'll be back for um, uh, the other item in this stage later. And thankfully it's a case where it's like once we get it, we can just like enter the stage, grab it, and then leave. You don't have to do the whole level again, thankfully. Yeah, I got another weapon, so that's good. Also, the password screen. Such a great theme, the password screen. God, it's so good. Okay, next up, I believe we have Armor Armadillo. I believe that's the weapon that uh, Spark Mandrill has that is strong against this guy. This one's also got two very interesting... Um, upgrades. To, actually, there's... God, there's even more than that. But, uh, there's also more to say about this stage in general. We'll be coming back to this stage much later, like, once we've beaten all the, um, Mavericks. And we'll talk about some of the other stuff that's worth mentioning here then. But I just want to beat the level normally to start. Also, hey, free life. I love getting that. I mean, you're ne never, never should you complain about getting a free life. Three lives are just awesome, you know? Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah, so let this guy pass you before you go through. Uh, this way you'll get the sub-tank, and then you can kind of continue about your business. Um, you can defeat this guy, too, if you're, like, if you put up enough damage. The problem is it does he does take a lot of hits. So if you could get up there, you could actually use your head to get up there and get those. But yeah, notice we have that, those sub-tanks. Like, we haven't even filled up the first sub-tank yet. But there are, there are very easy ways to do that, so we'll, we'll discuss all that stuff later. It's not really relevant right now. Yeah, you want to look out for spikes, because much like Mega Man games, spikes are one-hit kills. Mega Man just doesn't like spikes, and I guess... I guess Dr. Like wanted to keep that quirk, <laughs> I suppose. Let's see if we can get some... Well, there was some energy, but <laughs> not going to be able to get that, unfortunately. I also like how you can just kind of ride this thing forward through 
quite a bit of the level. Okay, so right here, I don't know if I'll be able to get this, but like I said, we'll be back here later anyway, so if I don't get that, it's not the end of the world. But when you fall down here, charge up and immediately fire, and never stop firing at this guy. Um, I wouldn't even recommend, like, charging again. Just keep firing. And if we get this, great. If you don't, it's not a big deal. You have to defeat him before he gets here. Otherwise, he'll make the wall too high for you to get to. But that's how you get the heart tank. And uh, for right now, that's all we can get here at uh, Armored Armadillo. But like I said, we'll be back here much later once we have literally everything. And we'll explain that in then. But yeah, let's get some practice for this as well. I don't know if I'll do it, but I'll try, damn it. I'll try. Yes, got it. Practice this. <laughs> You'll need to know how to do that later. And hey, we're actually full health. That's kind of neat. So don't have to worry about uh, just doing a blaster run. And this guy can actually be pretty dangerous using Buster only, too. But yeah, here's Armored Armadillo. Um, he turns into a ball, which is annoying. But um, if you use the weapon on him, he will actually lose the ability to use a very powerful attack that um, does a lot of damage to you, basically. But his direct contact damage hurts, so keep that in mind. This is like this is a, still a really hard fight, even if you like. Um, even if you have the weakness. Got him. Woo! <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> I did it, though. We got through. So, yeah, this video is probably not going to be as long as the first video was. Not that the first video was, like, super long or anything, but, you know, I, I met my quota. I used... I, I beat up two Robot Masters, uh, or two Mavericks, so... I think that is a sign that we are going to go ahead and leave it at that for at least this video. Um, but yeah, uh, things are progressing pretty nicely so far, so I hope you guys have been enjoying this, and, uh, well, I will, uh, see you guys next time, when I believe we're going for our good friend, Boomer Kawanger. So, yes, I will, uh, see you guys then. <laughs>